Okay, we're just going to give it a few more minutes for more people to join. And we apologize for being a bit late. We had some technical difficulties. So we are only live at the moment on the Facebook stream. Um, for those of you with little kitties, you'll know there's like a Fortnite party that's just kicked off. So. <laughs> awesome. So... What week or what day are we of lockdown now? I totally forgotten, eh? But we had a couple of lockdown challenges, which we want to just quickly give out the winners for those um, challenges, because it was supposed to be a 21 day challenge and like we're on 80 something day challenge. So we had the best family workout ideas and congratulations to Flippy Stain and his family. Um, you guys are super motivating and thank you for tagging us in all your awesome family workout ideas. Um, I've actually seen an amazing transformation there. Um, ooh. Yes, yes, yes. And then um, I want to say for the best home gym setup, that goes to Chaz Howell. Wow, I wish I had a home gym setup like that. G, please. Build me a little paradise home gym set up there. Um, then for our inmate squat challenge, the winner for that is Rizal Kutza. Congratulations for winning that challenge. Um, best female transformation in the lockdown goes to Tessa Horemse. Congratulations. Your transformation is really inspiring. Um, I will put up all the winners on, on the pages and stuff and share all that. Um, that was it. I haven't had any male transformation entries, so um, that prize is still there. So guys, send me your or tag us in your uh, lockdown transformation picks and then we can pick a winner. We still have that prize to give out. So I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but in the last like week and a half, we have taken you guys down a road in memory lane to the very first IPB Professional League Regional that, that took place in South Africa at FIBO. Um, I've uploaded all those videos for you guys um, with all the pre-judging and main show. So the Muscle Militia Grand Prix 3 is up and live on our Instagram, on the Muscle Militia Grand Prix Instagram TV, as well as on the Champagne Productions YouTube. It's all up there. So um, I'm, I've been binge watching it. I just enjoy the memory so much and can't wait for the next one, hey G. Cannot wait for public period. Yeah, and for those of you that are going to go check it out on our um, YouTube channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything that we do put up there. Um, I actually have got a collection of other series of Muscle Militia Grand Prix. Um, believe it or not, we've got never before seen footage of the entire Muscle Militia Grand Prix 1. Um, we do have we do have the footage for number two, so I just have like one little challenge, but for you techno fundies out there, if anyone has a clever suggestion on how I can in some way remove the background, I will upload Muscle Militia 2 with pleasure. Um, so I'm not sure if that is even possible, hey G. Like with, um, so without having a green screen there, does anybody know how we can remove the background from a video? I don't know. We've got somewhere to go. That's the chart. Oh, I'm going to go turn the chicken. <laughs> um, don't burn it though, hey. No, I've got to go. Okay, so while G's away, I want to talk and take you guys down a little trip down memory lane, memory lane on the evolution of the Muscle Militia Grand Prix winner's jacket. So we didn't have a winner's jacket at Muscle Militia Grand Prix 1. It's something we introduced only at Muscle Militia Grand Prix 2. So 
This was the very first winner's jacket. So this was a very special one. It's in full leather. This was our first one. Where is my ins? Okay, so the first one had the little label in there for whoever the champion was. And then in Muscle Militia Grand Prix 3, we went over to these winner's jackets. The black ones. Okay, and they're very exclusive. So there's my one, Boss Lady. But our winners each have their division inside of the jackets. And then this green bad boy is what we did last year for the winner's jackets. So super cold here. There we go. Ooh, boss lady. <clears throat> so I guess what I want to, what? Yes, I've got my, it's very cold. I've got layers on. So I'm not, fat. I'm not fat. I've got lots of layers of muscle militia on. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so yes, so this was last year's jacket. So what I'm asking is that I'm going to put up a poll and I want to hear from you guys what you think we should do with the 2020 Muscle Militia winner jackets. Um, you got any questions? Oh, let me check. Right, go for that. So yeah, that I'm going to put that poll up because I really want to hear from you guys if you think we should keep it to the black or green or change the color completely i want to hear all your suggestions um i'll put that poll up on instagram on the muscle militia grand prix stories i'll put that poll up there and i'll post it as well for you guys to comment on the post Just let me see i'm just quickly checking on the feed to see if we've got any questions coming through well, you won't have seen it. Yeah. Don't matter, don't matter, don't matter. No, it's there. There's a moderator. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so what else are we going to talk about catch up? So we've been keeping a, a eagle eye on the. Ah, the new, new tune from uh, Marcus Rush. Yeah, got this the other day. Yes. Sick. Cannot wait to have Mark on stage. Yeah, for, you, for those of you that were at the Eye Candy um, Classic in the Mother City, you'll know exactly how all those sick beats went down. It was a real party there for us. So um, we're looking at having Marcus be at the Muscle Militia Grand Prix farm. So I am seriously looking forward to that. Speaking of the Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5, um, this is Champagne Productions' compliance officer for COVID-19. So we've been working closely together on, I don't want to say worst case scenario, but the most undesirable situation scenario, which would be to be live streaming the show. Um, we're going to work within those measures and in doing that, we're going to be restricting the entries per division to 50 entries per division, just because in the most undesirable situation, we anticipate that we'd have to do it in sessions. Um, so we're just working within those guidelines. If it changes, then we will obviously let you guys know. But for now, we're going to be limiting the amount of entries per division to 50. So this will obviously be on a first come first serve basis and what we are also going to do is that I've created a coupon code so at checkout when you do your entry if you put in MMGP50 you will be getting the entry at an early bird rate and there are only 50 of those so for the first 50 athletes and first 50 entries that use MMGP50 at checkout you guys will be getting your entries at the early bird rate so 
Head on over. The entries are open at the moment. If you go to champagneproductions.co.za um, to the online store, those entries are open right now. So, yeah, guys, if I can elaborate and just explain and give you an insight of what it is that I'm thinking about, it's the backstage and the social distancing and the measures that needed in the backstage facilities. Um, so that's where my thinking is in the. The better suited venues that I can find. I mean, as we know, that's that's what we've got to broadcast. So those facilities need to be in conjunction where we don't normally need that much backstage space. So we'll we'll figure out. We'll make it happen. Um, restricting the numbers to fifty allows us to work within the parameters and make sure that it's safe for that at least. If we go beyond that, we'll need to up the measures and give you an update on what the social responsibilities will be in that regard. Um, for now, the 50 is just your general regulations as we've published in the level 3 lockdown today. We're following guidelines every day. So as it goes, it was regulated with the new regulations, the broadcasting regulations and no contact sports of what is permitted. So we're following that at the moment. We're advising clients with uh, no contact sports and broadcasting um, events. That's that's how we're going to work it until we get to level two or level one. Um, in my opinion, there's quite a bit of contention as to how much longer they can keep us in for. Um, well, today was supposed to be, according to the um, Disaster Management Act, today was 90 days. Yeah, so, months. 90 days, but as you know, um, they have, meaning they, the, the South African, oh no, what is it, the National Command Council has applied to have the lockdown extended by another month. So 15 July roll on and as far as I understand it, they can't keep us in lockdown anymore. Um, yeah, the Disaster Management Act, the regulations have to be drafted, finished and released so we can go back to what's known as the normal. Unless they can prove that it's in the country's interest to continue. Um, and in my opinion, the, the numbers just don't warrant it. I mean, I believe the virus is real but not real that we have to continue the lockdown. The lockdown, in my opinion, was flat on the curve. Not quite sure what curve. I mean, the... The, the GDP of our economy curve. Yes. Because, let's face it, like, I don't think we've actually ever... Yeah, we're not going to go down that road, but we want it open, gyms to open, we want the people to be training. So, what else we got? That's it, hey, though, that... That is all the items on my agenda. Well, wait, I'm going to check out. It looks like I've got some. Oh, Hannes, any inside info on when the gyms are going to be opening? Gee, you've been keeping your finger on that pulse. I've seen what's been submitted to the Minister of Sport from a document that was drafted by the owners of every commercial gym in this country. Um, on the 28th of July, it was submitted, or oh, sorry, 28th of May, it was submitted to them, or 28th of April, it could have even been, I just got the number 28 in my head. They were, it was submitted to the Minister of Sport, and in my opinion, if they don't accept that for public space, uh, facilities and gyms, I don't think they will open, ever. Um, I believe that framework and the model that they put in there is more than adequate absolutely more than adequate if they're allowing uh, religious gatherings of 50 and less to take place in my opinion what they've subject submitted to the ministers um, on how they will equip the gyms and their facilities with the respective measures over and above what's already in place to make sure that their COVID measures are 100 percent i don't feel that there's much more that we can do um beyond what's written in that document i commend every single one of the the owners and CEOs of the, the respective gyms that got involved and have submitted that document. I think it's fantastic um, representing us as the fitness community. I think uh, you did a great job. Um, now we hope, now we wait, now we see. Um, unfortunately, I can only be the voice of what is legislated. 
will look um, for the right answers. I can't necessarily always give you the information you want to hear, but I can certainly give you the information that is pertinent and current. Cool beans. So, but I think we can agree that masks are here to stay. Yep. Um, guys, I think uh, if anyone wants some insight as to what is the future looking like, I mean, try to see what the footage of China has been for the last few years. I mean, SARS is when they, in my opinion, were aware of the airborne viruses and started to travel and constantly be wearing the, the masks. So the SARS virus, in, in respect to where we are now, has always been around. It's always been an airborne virus. Um, so I feel the mitigation steps and the steps when they highlighted the first SARS in China kind of just made it a little bit easier for them to adapt on the the COVID. So. Yeah, and I know not everybody likes wearing a mask, but at the end of the day, it's about we, not me. You know, it's a two-way thing. If you're sick or asymptomatic and you're wearing a mask, you're less likely to be infecting anybody else. Um, and vice versa, you you know, if you you want to protect yourself as well. So, so down here, oh, I'm so retarded because I can't ever do this. Okay, so down here, um, that's the militia masks that are made exclusively for champagne productions by Dolls and Dukes. Um, those are available at our online store. So there's some awesome ones for the kiddies there and for the big kiddies, big boys and girls. Um, Wonder Woman is still my favorite. I like that Holly Quinn. Man. Oh, and the She-Hulk. The She-Hulk's new. Um, you'll see it coming around there. So Yeah, so keep an eye out. We've got a few in mind. I mean, there's others that are really, really unique. Um, yeah, I can't wait for them to be shared. But keep an eye out. If you've got any suggestions, let us up. We'll see what uh, we can come up with. I feel they're yet to stay. Might, have, might as well have a cool one. Yeah, so if there's any that you guys would like, let us know. And we'll see if we can put an order in there for you guys. Yeah, and then for those that uh, are interested, Las Vegas, end of the year, Mr. Olympia should be be traveling and permitted internationally. We cannot wait to see our Pro League family. That's for certain. So yeah, the, the Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5 is the first um, opportunity, the first regional qualifier for all South Africans to qualify. I know there's a couple of you that have already contacted us to get on the list to be traveling to the Mr. O in December. So Yeah, so there's fans or anybody that's interested, that's not fearful of international travel and public gatherings, hit us up. We'll facilitate for you, good prices. It's moving to the Planet Hollywood. So it's on the strip this year. Um, the re including of the female bodybuilding to the, the show again. So I'm looking forward to that. And Jake Wood has uh, got a, an amazing team, I'm sure, that he'll work with to, to put on an epic show. Can't wait. If we get to go there. If we're allowed to go there. <laughs> I'm just taking it day by day to, to get through this, man. I just... We, we, we've got to stay strong. I've seen so many different... Like, you showed me an article, um, the world, when all the world airports are opening up, and South Africa's on the list for 15 July because they literally can't lock the country down any longer than 120 days. So I've seen, you showed me that, and then I've seen another article where they've said, like, nobody's going to travel internationally till 2023. Like, that's ridiculous. But there's, there's so much fake news. I don't know a lot of things. I don't know what to believe anymore. But I don't have anything else on my agenda, G, and... I don't see any more questions. This was just a quick catch up. Um, something we're looking at maybe doing on the regular because we are currently 15 weeks out from the Muscle Militia Grand Prix um, 5. So still lots of time to get your guys A's into G's. Um, let's show them what you're made of. Lockdown doesn't stop us as athletes. Anything else you want to add, G? 
No. Living, guys. Just be safe. Be healthy. Keep training hard. Be mentally strong. Keep the faith. If you need anybody to reach out, reach out to us. We're here. Um, yeah. Keep yes, please. Keep if, if there's anybody that is needing help um, in any sort of way, like we're, we're all in this together, um, reach out to us. Um, even if we can't help you, we will make sure we can find somebody to help you with whatever your need or difficulty is. We're all in this together, guys. Um, and we're here for you. We're here for you. And the stage will always be here for you guys. Peace out. And I'll let you guys know if we're going to do another Monday Muscle Militia Monday catch-up. Have a good one, guys. And happy Youth Day for tomorrow. Bye. Bye.